welcome to our uh, VBS virtually. I know it's a little bit different, and I got to say, we're really sad that you couldn't come to our church this year and join us for VBS, but you know what? We've got some really awesome videos prepared for you this week, and we're so excited to still be able to do VBS with you guys this year. Um, but there's great things coming your way. We've got lessons. We've got uh, songs. We've got crafts. We've got all kinds of awesome things for you guys this week, and so I'm just glad that you've joined us here today. Now, I do have a friend who's also joined us, and our tradition is calling on her, and guess what? It still works through the video, so I'm going to need your help. All right, everyone, call out with me. Snooks! All right, help me out. Say it with me. Oh, Snooks! Snooks! Where are I? Oh, hey, Snooks! Everyone say hi, Snooks. Hi. It's great to have you back. I'm glad to be here. Listen, are you excited for VBS this year? I am. I'm so glad to be here at VBS. Well, That's a good word. Well, guess what? Guess what we're learning this year? What? We are learning about sharing the Savior all around the world. Wow. The whole world? The whole world. That's going to be an exciting week. Hey, Zach. What is the word for today? Okay, our word for today is God's power. God's power. Yep. God is powerful, and he's mighty, and he's strong. That's right, that's right. You know what? That actually, that reminds me. There's a song kind of goes that way. Isn't it called something like, like, my God is so big? Is, yeah, is it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and there's nothing my God cannot do. Dude. Absolutely right. You know what? I think we might sing that song later. But before we sing that, okay, we okay. have to sing a different song. Do you know what song that What's is? That? It's our Woodward Vacation Bible School oh, song. Yeah. So That'll let's be sing great. it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. It's, it's the, the Woodward, Woodward Vacation, Vacation Bible School with five more days to go. It's the Woodward Vacation Bible School where we learn the things we need to know. Learn to sing. Learn to sing. Learn to pray. Learn to pray. Learn to wear a big smile each day. Each day. It's, it's the Woodward Vacation Bible School with five more days to go. It's the Woodward Vacation Bible School where we learn the things we need to know. That was good, boys hey, and girls. Hey, I feel like that sounded great. That yeah. sounded really awesome. Yeah. Okay. All right, everyone say bye, Snooks. Bye. bye. Listen, we're really excited that you're here for VBS. Uh, let's sing some silly songs. Let's do it. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the trees are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Yeah! Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filcher from Berlin down to Belize. Down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Atlas Globetrotter. Good morning, boys and girls. Atlas Globetrotter here. I've got my Bible, I've got my passport. And I can't wait to visit the land I am visiting today. Today, I'm going to Germany. Germany is home to many wonderful landscapes, castles, and great food like bratwurst and schnitzel. Yum! You know what else Germany is famous for? Soccer. If you are a soccer player, you probably know Germany is one of the highest ranked countries in soccer. They've won at least four World Cups. How cool is that? What I want to see in Germany are the castles, and the museums, and the mountains, and also the beautiful, wonderful people in Germany. You know why? Because I want to use my Bible 
to share Jesus with the lovely people of Germany. Who are you going to share Jesus with today? All right, boys and girls, it's time for us to learn our Bible verse for the week. It's a really good one. It's out of the book of Mark, and it's in chapter 16, verse 15 through 16. And we call it the Great Commission. All right? So I'm going to read it, and maybe you can read along with me. All right, you guys ready? He said to them, go into all the world and preach the good news to creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. That's our verse of the week. So make sure you practice it, work on it, tell your mom and dad about it so you can practice it with them. And then on Friday, we can try to see if you have it memorized. Ooh, that's a challenge. So, you guys think you can do that? All right, sounds good. Let's read it together one more time. He said to them, go into all the world and preach the good news to creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Mark 16, verse 15 and 16. Roll, roll the gospel chariot along. I'm gonna roll the gospel chariot along. Roll the gospel chariot along, and we won't tag along behind. If our brother's in the way, we will stop and pick him up. If our brother's in the way, we will stop and pick him up. If our brother's in the way, we will stop and pick him up, and we won't tag along behind. If our sister's in the way, we will stop and pick her up. If our sister's in the way, we will stop and pick her up. If our sister's in the way, we will stop and pick her up. And we won't tag along behind. But if the devil's in the way, we will run right over him. If the devil's in the way, we will run right over him. If the devil's in the way, we will run right over him. And we won't tag along behind. Good morning, boys and girls. We're so glad that you've chosen to join us for the Virtual Vacation Bible School. Our story today is put on by our third and fourth graders, the day of Pentecost, and the early church. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues or languages as the Spirit enabled them. Der Heilige Geist ist erstaunlich. Habt ihr die kleinen Feuerflammen? El Espíritu es increíble. Vistas las lenguas de fuego y el viento que pasó por la casa tan fuerte. The Holy, the Holy Spirit is amazing. Did you see the tongues of fire and the crazy wind that came through the house? Yay, how the Spirit of God is amazing. Now they were staying in Jerusalem, Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came running. They were amazed because each one of them heard their own language being spoken. They asked, Are all these who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it each of us hear them in our own language? Listen to me, all of you who, who are seeing, what you are seeing is the Spirit of God being given to us. You all... You all remember Jesus, the one who did many wonderful miracles. You, you, you put him to death on a cross, but God raised him from the dead. Now he is in, now he is in heaven with, for, now he is with God in heaven. For this same Jesus, whom you crucified, is God's Son, our Lord and Christ. When the crowd heard Peter's brave words, they began to see how wrong they had been in killing Jesus. They cried out to Peter. 
What, what did, did you say? say? You can turn from your evil ways, be ba repent and be baptized, and then believe that Jesus will forgive you, and then you will get the Holy Spirit also. That day, about 3,000 people told the apostles that they believed in Jesus and wanted their sins to be forgiven. They were all baptized, and with great joy, they became part of the band of disciples there in Jerusalem. All the members of the new kingdom were like one family. They loved one another, broke bread together, prayed together, and took care of each other. Every day, the Lord added more and more people to this group that was formed, the church. Read your Bible and pray every day, and pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible and pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible and pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. Dum, da dum, da dum, da dum. Oh, hi. I'm Rufus. You probably know my cousin, Harold B. Doofus. He, he wasn't able to come with me to the different countries around the world this week. I hope you enjoy visiting different places with me each and every day as we share the Savior around the world. I'm telling all my new friends about Jesus. It doesn't matter if you're short or if you're tall, if you're big or even if you're small, because Jesus loves us all. Boy, it's so beautiful here in Germany. You can see God's power all around you. I see hills and green grass and real pretty flowers everywhere. Guten Tag. Oh, oh, that doesn't sound like English to me. Another lost tourist? It's not English, it's German. You're in Germany. My name is Helga. Oh, pleased to meet you, Helga. My name is Rufus. What, what was that that you said about a goat? No, guten tag. It's German for hello. Oh, well, hello then. Uh, I'm sharing the Savior as I travel all around the world. I tell people that Jesus loves them, short and tall, big and small. Jesus loves us all. Hey, Helga, what would you say? How would you say Jesus loves you in German? In German, it would be Jesus liebt dich. Oh, that's really hard. Jesus lipstick. Jesus loves me and you. That was good for your first try. Okay, I think I'm going to have to practice this one a quite a bit. Don't worry. If you teach me about Jesus, I'll help you with my language. Oh, that would be stupendous. Germany has big tall mountains covered with snow called the Alps, where we go snow skiing in the winter. One year, I even found a mountain goat in the Alps. I brought him home as a pet. Oh, I knew it. There is a goat. Heinrich, Heinrich, come here. Meet Heinrich. <sighs> we like to yodel together. Yodel? A mountain goat that yodels? No, can't be. Oh, yes, you'll see. Yodle. Yodle. Wow, I'm not believing this. <laughs> okay, go on. Heinrich is hungry. Oh, me too. I'm really hungry. Germany is famous for its chocolate. Want to come try some? Ooh. Chocolate! I love chocolate. Boy, this is going to be a good week. Hey, hey, Helga, wait for me! I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. Not my shoe. I got peace like a river, I got peace like a river, I got peace like a river in my soul. Not my shoe. 
Hey there, guys and gals. I hope you had an amazing first day at our Woodward Virtual Vacation Bible School. I'm so glad that you chose to watch this video today, and I hope that we can see you again tomorrow. Um, but before you go, there's a few things I need to let you guys know about. Uh, the first thing is, you might have gotten one of these in the mail, or maybe your mom or dad brought it home for you. Uh, it's our passport, all right? Now, passports are very important. Uh, if you saw Atlas Globetrotter uses one to go all around the globe, and th this is what you guys are going to use. So, what I need you to do, since our day is done, we are going to use this passport. You're going to open it up. There's some stickers in the middle page. Just open it up to the middle page. Today we went to Germany, so you need to find the Germany sticker. Maybe ask your mom or dad to help you find the Germany sticker for today. It looks like it might be this little purple one that looks like a home base or a little uh, house. Get that sticker. Flip on to the first page. It's day one. And put that sticker right underneath it. That's going to be your stamp that says you went with us to Germany in our vacation Bible school today. Make sure you do that. We're going to do a different sticker every day for the different countries that we visit. So... Make sure that you have this, and make sure you bring it tomorrow. Now, we have a craft for you as well. Your parents might have picked this up for you as well. We have this here. It looks like just a rolled up piece of paper. This is our uh, Color Your Own Map poster. So you get to do a little bit of coloring today. You have a map of the world. And you're going to fill in the different countries, the different seas, and then you get to color it all on your own. So make sure you have this and have a lot of fun doing this and color in all the places where Jesus loves us. Because he loves us everywhere, right? Right. So here's what we're going to do to finish off our day one. We've got our Sing Our Woodward Vacation Bible School song, right? We have four more days, so sing it with me. It's the Woodward Vacation Bible School with four more days to go. It's the Woodward Vacation Bible School where we learn the things we need to know. Learn to sing. Learn to sing. Learn to pray. Learn to pray. Learn to wear a big smile each day. Each day. It's the Woodward Vacation Bible School with four more days to go. It's the Woodward Vacation Bible School, where we learn the things we need to know. Bye, boys and girls. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.